honoured, as you'd expect me to say, honoured uh, to be involved with, with Alliance a class bunch of coaches uh, and, and what will certainly be a class bunch of players and they're going to have to be the toughest challenge on earth as a rugby player going to New Zealand currently double world champions been in some incredible form the last 10-12 years so it's a real chance for us but I'm sure it's one we're capable of living up to it's a class squad of players it's going to have to be as well uh, it took a long time deliberating over many positions you know we're going to be leaving some class players at home never mind those who were taken um, and as I keep saying, we're going to have to have that class to challenge these guys. Need good players, need good tourists as well. Need guys who are used to being away from home, travelling twice a week, two games a week. Guys who are used to getting to know people, getting to understand how their units, other players in their units work. Uh, my area in particular, the scrum and the breakdown, we need guys who are good operators in that department, who are able to do that under extreme fatigue. New Zealand international teams and provincial teams keep the ball on the field for a long time. So it's a lot of running for the big forwards, so they'll be able, they have to be able to play rugby, defend, but work at the set piece, scrum, line out and break down um, accurately under extreme fatigue. That's the kind of player who we selected. Well, there is synergy. We've worked together, a lot of us, for three tours now. Um, but we do challenge each other, but Warren has the final say, and he's usually right, to be fair. We have some healthy debate because there's some real experience in the room. I think it'll be the ultimate challenge for this group of players, be the hardest tour that there's been for a long time. But I'd say potentially the best line squad that would be put together for 30-odd years.